good morning everybody it is friday it has been raining quite a lot last night and this morning is a bit muddy out here so i'm still a bit clogged up i did cough a lot last night but i i'm just glad that pressure in my head the sinus pressure is good so i'm nelly i live in a bus you've probably seen some of my videos if you haven't welcome if you have thank you for sticking around and listening to my waffly life i'm in a bus with a lot of kids i've got my four grandkids are in there at the moment, three are teenagers and one 11 year old. I've got two friends up there as well. <laughs> uh, my husband's asleep again, because he woke up. Uh, I didn't sleep, I coughed so much last night that I was asleep about eight o'clock and my husband's on the phone. Hello, I want to make an appointment. And wakes me up every time. And he goes straight back to sleep. Me, that's it, done, wide awake, keep on going. He goes, just go back to sleep. I said, once I'm awake like that in the morning, I cannot go back to sleep. Anyway, Missy, my daughter who's visiting, she's not sitting over in her car. She says she's going to have a relaxing day today and hoping, we believe, that tomorrow is going to be a nice sunny day. Then we'll get some more fun stuff done. For me, it's about getting some stuff to the shed that I just found in the cargo bin and um, taking some stuff to the post office. But to do that, I've got to go to the shed and get a couple more things. I don't know how these people find this listing nirvana. If you haven't heard of a listing nirvana, it's where you can sell the same amount of things you list every day like if you list 10 things you sell 10 things i mean i'm like one or two some days i have good days i have about five things sell but this listing nirvana <laughs> not there yet but can't complain i'm doing what i love i'm making money from what i love and that's the main thing so i hope you all have a great day you're staying dry and warm and staying well for a start um but i'm going to gonna do some listing while i'm sitting here because i've I think Mr. Think the old man's going to be asleep by time. I'm going to take... <coughs> Here we go again. By the time I take Mr. Lemon to the doctors, <coughs> I'm going to find my... Oh. Mr. The old man's going to be asleep. I'll have to take him to the doctors, the other fellow to the doctors. They're going to hear me coughing and think, oh, I need something. <coughs> I'm going because I'm going to tickle. I'm going to cough. Bye. Okay, basically in the same spot. Now, I've emptied the toilets, did all that sort of stuff. I think I said that to you already before I even started yabbering earlier. And I had my little choking fit and it's now like 11.55 and I spoke to you about nine something. It's, the, the weather's lifting. What have I done in that time? Well, I was waiting for my grandson to get his appointment done. And then one of the kids wanted to go to KFC. So I went to KFC and then they dropped the whole bag of, of food on the ground because the bag broke. Um, but I only lost two things, but he went back in, they saw it happen, they gave him a whole thing again, new. So we got two lots for nothing, I only had to throw one packet away, which was good. But um, KFC is not like it used to be, it is horrible compared to what it used to be. So I've come back here and I said to the, my, my grandson, are you ready to go to the doctors? And my husband, and then he says, no, no, it's a phone call one. So I've basically been sitting here all this time for him. But now I'm sitting here waiting for him to get the phone call done so to see if I've got to go and get a script done. <laughs> and in that time I've been trying to list, but my focus is really bad today. I'm all over the place. I'm thinking, should I go to the op shops? I'm thinking, no, don't go to the op shops. You've got, you don't need to go to the op shops, but it's so hard. But I thought I'd just have a quick chat about being a reseller. We've got a lot of people that say, you know, they've got so much stuff that's sitting there, not moving. Don't call it a death pile, guys. Call it, a, call it your money pile. Call it your money box. You've got money sitting in that pile. But I think one of the most important things to do, if you have a lot of stuff and you can't get motivated, you may not have the goal. You might not have a passion. You might not have something to focus on that you want the money for. And I think that's really important if you're going to be a reseller is to have a reason. Like you, you guys have talked to me about my reason. I need a new car and I want to be able to use the profits of everything I buy for my car. I also want to pay a couple of one of my buyer's edge card right down from the profits I make. Um, I want to get out of the bus. At the moment, with all the crappy weather we've got, it's just, uh, it's a nightmare in there. And we've got sick kids. I've got my, one of the kids' friends is not well. He comes over all the time. He's fine. He's like part of the family. So I call him another grandson. And then my grandson is waiting for the phone call. But my granddaughter, is really sick at the moment now these guys have only just got over theirs and then I got mine and there's all refreshed up including my husband's <sighs> so I need to get out of the bus sometime in the future plus my poor daughter's sitting in her tent or she's actually sitting in the car because I've got nowhere in the car in that bus to 
to sit anybody because they're all taking up the space everywhere. So I need to get a heart. So I've got I've got a reason. I've got a passion. I've got determination to get there. And I think that's really important if you're going to be a if you're going to sell stuff. You've got to have, find find that thing you really want to get, and you can't. You don't want to use your home normal money to get it. Use that as your goal to to list, so you can get that thing you really want. Doesn't matter what it is. It could be something really simple. It could be something big like a holiday. Who knows? But make that goal for yourself. That's all for now. Till I think of something otherwise words of wisdom which is very rare for me, and I'll see you soon. The theme of the week, rain. But I hear it's raining everywhere, so it's not just me. Oh, it looks like I'm sitting in the same spot as I was, which I was, I am kind of, but I've actually been out and I've been back again. I've got to go out again because I've been to the shed to tidy it up. My old, my new shed to tidy it up a bit, get a bit more organized, which looks much better. Um, I can actually add some more stuff in there now, but I still think I need a bigger shed or more shelves. Oh my goodness. We'll wait to see next week whether I've got to, what my letter says I've talked about before, whether I've got to move out of the old shed or whether it's just to my tax stuff coming. Anyway, I'm really, really tired. Really, really tired. This is like five nights of not sleeping. So I'm taking all the medication back for the kids. All the doctor said was that you need Neuropin and um, Panadol type stuff, liquid, which I, we always give them. We just ran out. And uh, I can't remember. But anyway... Along the theme of what I was saying before, I think you've got to really want something. And I think if you guys really want something, you will work really hard to get out of the, get your stuff listed and get it out there so you can get the thing you want. If you are one of those people who've got everything they need and this is just a hobby, that's great. But for a lot of us, it's what we have to do to get what we want to get. <laughs> that's what we want to do, you know. I'm going to show you some of the stuff because I did go to the op shop salvos only because it was right next to where I had to get the medication and all the other bits I had to get, lemonade, all that sort of stuff. So I'm going to show you what I got because why not? Sitting right next to me, I'm going to go, you know what I'm like. So I didn't, um, I don't know what I got. <laughs> I've got an Elvis mug. I've got an Elvis mug to go with the other Elvis. I've got some Elvis, D Elvis two D I've got some Elvis stuff, a magazine and a DVD, two DVDs. Um, which are music ones, so I thought, well, I might just, just put it down and add that to it because it's only 50 cents, or I might just see what that sell by itself for. We will see. Um, I got a um, not, it was not a lot of not a great deal of markup on this, but it's actually brand new. It hasn't got a new tag, but you can feel the newness of it. It's a Ducati uh, shirt. I'm probably only going to get you know $28 max for it. I paid four dollars though, so I don't know if I'll do really well with that or not. But if it doesn't sell, someone in the family will wear it. I feel like I'm sitting right in your face. I love, I love my little hanger. For those who've been with me forever, know how long, how long it's been for me trying to find something that actually works to hold my camera. My throat is so sore. Every time I think I'm getting better, and every time I think the weather's getting better, it all comes down, and my throat goes sore again. So mostly in the men's section, I think today. But I did get, I think one of the pants might be ladies, but I did get this dress. And I think I saw it the other day, but <coughs> it's not, it's not going to win. But I didn't pick it up. But today I saw that it had a new tag on it. And the new tag is $129. I think I only ever spent that one sort of dress a long time ago. It wasn't even, my wedding dress wasn't even that much. So this is just an I forever new. Did I say that? Forever new dress it's just a little little short sort of knee-length dress very well made uh, all lined size 10 with the tags four dollars I'll probably put it up for about 50 see how, what happens with that we're gonna get there we're gonna do this guys um, there's these pairs pair of pants I, I, I don't usually look at pants I look, look at jeans mostly but I've also been looking at a lot of things with new with tags and they had these bracks put Brax pants there in the men's section as you can see they're brand new all cotton um, dress pants work pants whatever and I grabbed them they were cost me I think they were four dollars or five dollars I'm not sure hang on for a second Mr. Mr. Teen <laughs> um, and then they would have these and I have I don't know why I think they're ladies but I really do think they're ladies this is a pair of boring stretch jeans but they've got the new tag on it and they are called uh Benja Benga jeans and they were $140-$50 brand new and I got them I think they were $5 as well they take this actually they gave me a real tag today 
like a real receipt. You know, one of those real receipts today. Let's have a look. Five. Yeah, I think they were five dollars. So yeah, five dollars. Five dollars for the jeans and five dollars for these pants. So I'll put them up as well. See what they go for. Even forty would be great. And just as I was about to leave, I turned around, look at the shorts on the other side, and I found it myself some more Ed Hardy pants. Not as pretty and nice as the last lot I sold, but still Ed Hardy. If you see Ed Hardy anything, grab them. And uh, I'm trying to find Ed, Ed Hardy. Yeah, it's Ed Hardy there. And the tag, Ed Hardy tag there. Yeah, Ed Hardy is a really good brand to find. Now, while I was also there, I always look at the toy section, as you know, even though I keep saying I'm not going to buy toys. There's money in toys. I want to talk to you about this in a second. I won't show you that one yet, but I end up getting a couple of bags of toys. I like to buy the bags of toys. You don't know what's in them, except for I saw marbles. So I grabbed it for that reason. All the other bits, the troll, I might put with the trolls. Um, she might be something too, that one. She might be one of those uh, good uh, little woodsy people. And there's a horse. So I'm going to go through those. And it's also a little... Uh, what do you would call it? Horse. So I'll put them with the horse. So you always find little bits and pieces. Sometimes you can find really good stuff in these little bags. But I've got this one as well. It's got dinosaurs. Uh, the reason I got this, I've seen this lady do this amazing artwork on uh, Instagram. And I miss doing craft. And I really want to try it. So I've got a lot of dinosaurs to try her artwork. See if I can do it or not. But you know what else you can do? You can make necklaces and earrings and all that sort of stuff out of those little toys. People like the funky stuff. Right. I'm going to sh <coughs> show you this now. This is a horse. A horse that needs a brush. And why did I get this horse? Because I've been watching. I knew there was a lot of horses out there. There's a lot of toy animals type things that are worth money. And I have a list of them. Put away. I didn't hear about this one, but I've got a list of them put away. This one is actually called Leonard, and it's a 2021. Uh, no, 2002. Leonard. And these are actually, I could probably get about $15 for it. I did pay $2. But if you come across this sort of stuff, just check the stamping and quickly do a quick Google on them because they can be worth money. Now, along with that, and I said I've got some in my listing, I am thinking about setting up a little group. I would love to have a little eBay Patreon thing, but I'm nowhere near that yet. Nowhere near that. So I was thinking if anyone's interested, I might start a little private group for all my subscribers if they want to join. That way you can if you see something you like that I share on YouTube that you might be interested in, um, you can come over there and say, hey, I'd like that. Or we can discuss little things. I could do maybe do lives or just even discuss little things. It's not gonna stay in one spot. I need to tighten it up. Um, Different things that I, I, I learn about that I can share with you. I never do it on YouTube too, but I can share it with you personally away from YouTube. Things that I see on different channels that I can share with you. So yeah, keep an eye out for little horses like that. So let me know if you're interested in me doing that. I was thinking about doing like a little chat room on Facebook Messenger, but that's a bit boring. So I thought maybe, I don't know, maybe just um, you know, reseller, resellers, Boomers and Co. I don't know. <laughs> So old school, I don't know, something, a group for you guys so I can tell you things that I learn about. So yeah, I still want to do another ebook eventually. It is still on the cards. It's just my life is so damn busy. I don't get time to do very much other stuff in that business because I need to get my business set up perfectly. So I am financially stable and I'm also in the house and I have a car. So I could do more stuff with my business as well. What I hope to do, where's my charger cord? Uh, what I hope to do is eventually is be able to grow big enough that I can actually have my family helping me out and working for me. That's what I'm hoping to do. Anyway, I'm going to go before my voice completely cracks it. I'm going to head to the post office. I've got about six items or something like that. Six or seven to post. So I'm going to go do that now. Then I'm going to go back to the shed and take some more photos of some stuff. Because I've got I took a few photos when I was there. I might even go to the old shed and pick up some stuff and take to the new shed. I don't know, you know me, it's going to brain. I think I'm probably going to leave, release this video later. We'll see what happens. You might see me again in a minute, who knows. Good morning everybody, look. It shows we have sun. We have sun today after all the horrible weather we've had. I'm not well still, I had a terrible, terrible night. But I'm up and going, clean the toilet, put washing on. Old man's sick again, so I swear there's a conspiracy theory. It's a conspiracy against mothers when we're sick. It's tough luck. and. 
I'm just gonna keep tripping on. So me and Miss, she's outside waiting for me to finish my video, are off to get Miss 21 from the claim today. The rest of them, some are still sick in bed and some watching TV. So it's a beautiful day, we're gonna make the most of it. And I will see you hopefully at a garage sale. I hope I get to a garage sale today, we'll see. It's now 12.38, the rain came back. I was in McLean, went to op shops, which I'll show you shortly what I got. The rain came back quite heavily, now it's gone again. It doesn't know what it wants to do with itself. My granddaughter and her auntie, my daughter, have gone to the shops and I've just gone for a little drive over to this antique shop because I feel like going antiquing today. Don't know if I could take any photos inside, don't know if I can take any videos inside, um, but if I can't, I will show you if I find anything. Then I'm going to go, I've been to my other shed because I've had the surfboards in the car for weeks. So I've taken them, my daughter got them off for me because she knows how to undo the ratchet straps. So they've gone to the other shed. Now I won't be able to recognise my car because that's how I used to know which one was mine because the surfboards. Told my husband going to hang a big red scarf on my um, tops there so I know which one's mine. Anyway, I'm feeling very, 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 very tired today. My husband's really not well again. Um... Yeah, I think Laura's buying dinner. She's buying pizza for dinner. Anyway, I'm going to go in here and hopefully find something super exciting that I get all excited about. I don't know if I will or not because antique shops are often very expensive, but we will see. I was trying to take videos without being too obvious. What I basically wanted to show you how crazily, crazily rampacked this place is. So disorganised. Every time I go in there, there is always something else. And the last lot that he's got hasn't been sorted yet. Uh, this is going to be terrible photography, I know that, but so it gives you a general idea of what it's like in there. See that little cup I'm pointing to? It's a whistle. When I was a little girl, I had one like that. It got broke and I was devastated. And back when I was in my early 40s, late 40s, I actually found one very exactly like that one at an op shop. I was so excited. I just wanted to be able to find one again. And I ended up selling it again anyway. But yeah, I was just really excited to finally find myself a cup whistle. Do you have one? I know he bought this fella a few weeks back, but he had a chip on his tooth, but I still think he's amazing. I sort of still tempted to get him. He's actually hanging on the wall, but yeah, his tooth was chipped. As you can see, this is only just so that the floors are just packed with stuff. Sometimes you've got to just one foot in front of the other very carefully because you can't stand two feet together. It is just so packed. It's there on his own. He doesn't do eBay. He just piles it up and piles it up. sit next to my new shed because I've got to drop off this stuff, take some photos, you know the you know the story. Get some stuff ready. I've got nothing in my drafts again. I'll get back into it very soon. I'm just exhausted today. You can tell I'm lagging. Okay, so when I went to the op shop, I hope you enjoyed that little bit of video. I'll show you what I got there. He has no prices on anything and then a lot of stuff you pick up and go, how much is that? Go, oh no I wasn't selling that. Oh, I bought that for my son. Oh, I'll take that much for it. I want to know um, about some spoons he had. I said, how much are they? Then he realised that from his old shop was sterling silver, so he didn't even put a price on them. Anyway, what I got? <laughs> it was very boring. As you guys know, I want to try and start making some, eventually I want to make some spoon 
jewelry if you haven't seen it look it up so i've got my little magnet which i think i all i showed you a little magnet i've got on there which shows me which ones to pick up don't pick any up that, that actually is attached to the magnet um so I, I ended up getting some really lovely old ones this is one uh, which would make a beautiful cuff if i could ever work out how to do it uh, cost me two dollars i think that one and this one here i won't do anything with because this one actually sticks to metal but i love that fork i love that i thought that'd be really nice pickle fork or something but i ended up getting these he wanted to, oh, i forget what he wanted i thought there was another one i paid too much for them all i paid 16 which is ridiculous when i could go to the op shop and get it really cheap but i wanted to spend some money <laughs> so i did his prices are, are ridiculous, really are. Like a pair, a set of knives. He wants sixty-five dollars. You get the same knives on eBay for forty-five. So yeah, it did happen. But anyway, what else did I get? So then I went to, before that. I had gone to McLean and we went to go to one garage sale, but it was nothing there. And there was no garage sales in town here today that I found. I'll have another look in a minute. And then we went to a, a, two op shops. I went to one op shop. And got nothing and so I went to the other op shop and the other op shop I went to I don't go there very often because I never get anything usually but today I end up getting two more of these vintage um, uh, bedspreads and they're only two dollars each I don't know actually yeah they're, I think they're two single ones the other one I've got in the shed is a double but yeah I've got two of those which should sell eventually eventually so she only just finished um, tagging them up and wrapping them up so she goes oh I should have told me before I didn't see them till they're on the table anyway I also got thumb, I can't believe it Tinkerbell um, toy now I don't really want to get into dolls that much but she was four dollars the reason I got her is she's actually a, a proper Disney World London can I see uh, one. and I've also got a Tinkerbell cup and hit the shed on the other shed so i'm going to bundle them up with the tinkerbell dvds i also have um any other books i have i'm going to bundle them up together she did cost me four dollars but she was too cute to leave there so i grabbed that <coughs> grabbed some shorts for my grandson <laughs> grabbed um, a jacket for my granddaughter and i've got to grab this really cool old knife it did cost me two dollars but i really liked it just look at that. I think it's in a paring knife. I don't know. I just liked it. I think it's stainless, it's stainless steel. But I thought it was really cute. So I got it. I, I, I buy weird stuff. That'll make a really good opener at the shed. So I'm like that. I've got myself a brat doll to go on my brat doll collection. <coughs> got some of those knives that he had similar in his shop. Um different brand but yeah I've got some of those I don't know how much they were they weren't very much most of you boomers remember grandma had those I've got this really lovely tablecloth someone's done a lot of hand embroidery all over it I'm just going to try and open it up it's really hard to see but all the, all the work that someone's done on each corner of it all through that it's got a very uh, I don't know, Mexican, Spanish sort of look to it. So yeah, I got that. I think that only cost me two dollars. And then I got this. This is what I picked up. Probably one of the first things I picked up was this really lovely pottery vase. Because you know that I'll be buying a bit of pottery. Now there's not much details on this. All I know is it says um, Croton, Crotona, Crotona. Yeah, Crotona. It's a Crotona pottery mug. Apparently from South Australia, we think. Can't find much information on them. I'm not sure what I'm going to put it up for. Super heavy. Super heavy. Posters will be about $20 probably. But it's a beautiful vase. I really liked it. So what do you think? Would you have bought that? It's $5. So we'll see what we put that up for. But I'm going to head into the shed now. Don't know if you'll see <coughs> much more of me. My throat, as you can tell, is still very weak. My glands are still very swollen, and I'm, yeah, I was in a lot of pain last night, just the coughing. So I'm going to go into there and do my work, and if you see me again, great. If you don't, thanks for watching. And hopefully the next video will be a bit more, bit more exciting than what it has been the last couple of days. I've just busted myself, as I always do. I've just taken, I don't know, probably about 50 freaking photos. <laughs> Packed up the stuff I sold last night, and this morning, and got that ready, have a 
on the um, addressing yet but I, then I went nuts with all the photos so I've got enough hopefully in reserve I think they're taking the car tomorrow so I can stay home in the bus I don't know if I want to stay home in the bus because if I stay home in the bus and I've got to clean the bus and I don't want to clean the bus because no one else does you know what we do we go on strike yeah that's the mode I'm in at the moment so I'm going to try and take myself home and get some items listed I need to get I might even do five here that way I don't get disturbed I'll get some listings done of all the stuff I did today and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye. Hi everybody. It is Sunday afternoon. That's how slack I am today. Husband was sick all night. I wasn't well all night, but I got up. He went back to bed. It was supposed to be a fishing day for everybody else. And I was supposed to stay home in the bus on my own. <laughs> so I ended up taking two of the girls to Yamba Markets, which I saw some amazing stuff, including these things made from rubber like rubber tires like tires like it was just amazing i want to come up with an idea like that there was also a lady who did coin jewelry and there was a necklace that i absolutely loved i should have asked if she did after pay because it was beautiful it was like a heart-shaped necklace which i love so much but i didn't get it i got some fruit from stanthorpe which i haven't had for years i got some ginger and i got some sprouts which i've been money on my grand my daughter got some jerky which nearly burnt my mouth out before and I like hot stuff and it still nearly burnt my mouth out. But today's been a bit sl like, yeah, I'm really tired. I'm just finishing measuring all the clothing that I've already got um, photoed, photographed on my eBay store. So I had to just do the measurements and the, yeah, I just have to do the measurements. Everything else is done on it. So I've just come back to the shed now because I'm going to drop some stuff off. I st still sound horrible. I still feel horrible. I still look terrible. I know that, but. It's going to go eventually if we stop sharing around. But I'm super, super tired still because I never get a good night's sleep ever, ever. And that to me is one of the most important things for my, for my sanity. So I'm going to go to the shed, pick up a few more things in case I get time to do anything. But tomorrow might not see me at all because tomorrow is a busy day. Um, if, I, if you see me, great. If you don't, well, I'll talk about that maybe later in the week. But I thank you for watching. It's been a pretty boring three-day vlog. But I hope you enjoyed some of the purchases that I got. Um, think they're all listed now I've listed everything I think as far as I know and yeah I will see you if not before I'll definitely see you Wednesday for what's on it's been a pretty okay week so I had some good ones in there so we'll see you then bye